Welcome to your students. How are you? To your online session, um, the first activity virtual session that is about food and restaurants. Uh, the um, the activity was okay. So for today, we are going to explain some activities related from this uh, activity, some evidence related with activity one. And also, we are going to brush up the before the previous evidences that you worked on um, the last week. Then, next step, then we are going to move to uh, explain some material and uh, some grammatical grammatical uh, grammar structures. Okay? So, Luz and Helica, welcome to your online class. Um, how are you, Luz? Do you have any questions? Hi, Luz. Good morning, teacher. I have. I don't have. Okay, Luz. I don't have any questions now. Okay, Luz. Very good. Thanks for. Practice your English. So, I'm going to share my screen just to see the course and also understand the process for this week. Okay? So, here we have the course and Remember, Lewis and also the parentheses, you have to always be updated with your home area. Also, the schedule, remember that the schedule are also important. Here you can find out uh, different information. We are here in Learn Activity 1. This is the learning result for this Activity 1. And these are the evidences for this week, okay? So you can see all to the dates. We are here, October the 1st. So this uh, week starts today and ends in on October the 7th. Here you'll find out the link to uh, answer to this session, to the different uh, synchrony for this course. So try to be so familiar with this schedule just in order not to get lost in this course, okay? To be updated in this course. And as I told you before, the idea is that make a review of the, the previous activities. We remember that the last activity you have uh, you had to send this document that is the photocopy of your ID card and it is mandatory you have to do it okay and the next activity was update personal information uh, it's on Sophia Plus platform it is so important to update this information because. If at the end of the course, when you want to get the the degree, the certification, if you if you have wrong information in the Sophia Plus platform, you are going to get your certification with wrong information about you. So, for that reason, it's essential to update this information. Then we have the parental survey here. It is just to know what knowledge do you have uh, do you have before to start the course. And then we have social forum. The social forum is just to present, to introduce yourself, to know, to meet new people. Okay, that's the idea for this social forum. Hi Mayra, welcome to your class. And the platform exploration forum is not mandatory. You don't have to do it, okay? You don't have to do this platform. It's just for people that think that this platform needs 
simple. So if you have an advice to improve this platform, you can make your post. But if you think that it's perfect, please don't write any message, okay? So these were the um, these were the evidences that we worked the last week, the week that ends uh, that ended yesterday, and today we start activity one. Yeah, for this activity one, we have different evidences. We have four. We have four evidences for this week. So, what is the process that you have to follow to in order to get a, a successful result? The first step is to work on material. You have to use the material to read, to practice with this material. You can do in a multimedia version or you can download uh, the version, okay? The material is called food and restaurant. Then we have a support material and the support material is so important because you can practice. But please, Keep in your mind, bear in your mind that this material is not or doesn't have a grade. It's just to practice, okay? Just to practice. Then we have the uh, forum that is called My Eating Habit in this forum. And then we have interactive activity, the recipe, evidence going, going to the restaurant and describing my kitchen. They are the four evidence for this week, evidences for this week. So, each evidence has a detailed explanation what is the step by step that you have to follow to do this, to do every single evidence, okay? You have to read carefully. So, in this case, these are the steps, the steps to participate. So, you click on this, click on number one, and then as you can see, appears the explanation of the activity. Here, follow my eating habits. Excuse me a little bit. So, my eating habits. As you can see, for this evidence, you have to participate in the forum called My Eating Habits, in which you have two. So you have two. The first one describes eating habits. The second one asks two questions to one of your partner's eating habits. So you have to do two things, okay? The first one makes your questions describing your eating habits, and the second one makes two questions to another classmate, okay? So here you find out, um, keep in mind, you have to use quantifiers, some, any, much, many, a lot, okay? And the vocabulary related to food and drinks in the following way, okay? Here you find out just an example. It is a very short example about the cost. As I told you before, you have to use the vocabulary and also the quantifiers. These are the parameters to assess your participation, okay? Then, you just make two questions. The idea is that you have to read every single thing, like read your partner's post, select your participation and through the bottom, respond there, ask two questions to one of your partners if you have it. To write the questions, use the quantifiers. Keep in your mind, use the quantifiers. Some, any, much, many, a lot. And the vocabulary related to food and drink. Here we have some examples. Here we have the sentence. What's your favorite food? Do you eat any vegetables? For answering to your partner's questions, use the, question, the quantifiers. Some, any, much, many, a lot and the vocabulary related to food and drink. Here we have some examples. My favorite food is watermelon. It is delicious. No, I don't like any vegetable in my food. So, 
You have to use quantifiers not only in your thoughts but also in your answers, okay? And here we have the explanation how to send the activity. When you have already done the post, um, ah, okay, how to participate in a forum is just that. Some of you ask me, like, teacher, I don't know how to make my post. You just click here. That is the, the step by step. Click here. Then you click here in my eating habits. And you just answer my post. Okay, that's the way you're going to do your participation. So you just answer here, respond there, and you make your post about your. You can change the. You can change this and put another title. And here you make your participation about your eating habits. Then you just click NMDR and that's the way you do this first evidence, okay? Uh, until so far, do you have any questions? Do you have any questions so far, dear students? Tienen alguna pregunta, chicas? Maya Luz, me están entendiendo. Todo, chicas, si tienen alguna pregunta o prefieren que la explicación se dé en español. Yo entiendo que ustedes ahorita están en nivel 2, entonces no sé si la explicación en inglés las comprende un poco más o... No, I don't have any questions. Perfect. Ooh. You improve your answers. Mejor así. Muy bien la respuesta. Amaira. Mayra, are you there? Mayra, por favor, escríbeme. ¿Tienes alguna pregunta? Mayra. Mientras Baida nos responde, the explanation is still in English. Okay. So, here, uh, this is the first activity that is called My Eating Habits, the forum. Then we have interactive activity, the recipe. So, what happens with interactive activities? In this uh, kind of activities, you just uh, click here and you can see an form activity. That, it, that means that y while you are doing your exercise, the activity gives you your grade, the qualification, your grade, okay? So, uh, as soon as you finish this activity, you get your, your final grade. So, it's incredible because you can try it as many times as many times as you can or as many times as you need to get the 100%, to get every single question right, okay? The idea is that you practice a lot with this interactive activity, um, understand. Here we have an issue because some of you don't read destruction. So, in this activity, here you can you can see the instruction, the instruction is specific. Uh, okay, so you have to read the learner. Welcome to this virtual activity design. By sending this activity, you will practice specific vocabulary in a kitchen setting. To pass this activity, it is necessary to do all the exercise correctly. Follow the instructions given by the multimedia. Contact your virtual instructor if you have further questions through the questions and concerns form. Okay? So, the instruction set. 
Cynthia needs to prepare me dinner. But she is a little confused about which ingredients she should choose. And, okay. Here, uh, here. Help her by selecting the ingredients she does not mention for the recipe. Take into account that if you make two mistakes in your selections, you will not get the recipe ready for dinner. So, help her by selecting the ingredients she does not mention. That is the clue here. You have to select the ingredients that she does not mention, okay? So, for that reason I told you, please please uh, read instructions, okay, in order to make your evidences right. And uh, this is the second evidence. We have here the third one that is going to the restaurant. As you can see, the process is click on number one. Here you find out the explanation. That now it, it is downloading a Word file. So we are going to open this file. I'm going to share the explanation in words. So here, here we have going to the restaurant. What is the, the process? Who says this restaurant expression? Choose between waiter or customer by classifying on the expressions in the box into the appropriate column. So the first is to classify these expressions in the right column, waiter or customer, okay? Then you have now Angela is ordering her lunch in a restaurant, complete the conversation with the correct expressions by extracting them from the previous activity. So here you have to classify these expressions, then you have to complete these dialogues, okay, with those expressions. And the last step is, now imagine you are in a restaurant ordering your breakfast. Write a conversation between the waiter and you. Use the vocabulary and expressions that study studied during this learning activity. Okay, so you have to make a conversation here. It is just a, a short conversation where you are asking for a breakfast, okay? That is the evidence that is called going to the restaurant. This is our first evidence. Now, go back to the course, to the platform, and here we have the last evidence describing my kitchen. So, to do this evidence, you should complete the following. So, click here to download the explanation. We have um, the explanation in a Word file. So, we, have, uh, we are going to open this file and read. So here we have the evidence called uh, describing my kitchen. In this evidence, you must write a description of your kitchen and the food you find in your cabinets and fridge. Okay? If it is possible, include a photo or a drawing of your kitchen to illustrate the description. So um, you have here some language to be used, so you must use the real, the are some, any, some, any, food, vocabulary, yeah, many, many, much, a lot, some quantifiers. And here we have an example of a description of a kitchen. The idea is that you add the photo of your kitchen, you can just put another image from internet if you want to take a photo of your own kitchen and put here. 
so you can use another one from the internet and then you are going to make the description remember using the is that are quantifiers and food and drink vocabulary when you finish the evidence you keep your file keep your file and um, you send to the platform how how I going how you are going to send the file so we'll go, uh, go back again to the platform and here we have the the platform yeah and the evidence that is called describing my kitchen so suppose that you already finished your evidence you have your file uh, done and you just click here on the title describing my kitchen when you click here on the title you can see that you have a link here we have a link examining the people you click here on this and choose choose the file that you're going to send in this case of course the evidence you click on abrir abrir and enviar yeah enviar bottom if you have any comment you can write it and send okay that is the idea that is the process of how to send the, the evidences so these are the evidences for this week for activity one remember keep in your mind we have four evidences for this week the first one um, follow my eating habits the second one the recipe the third one going to the restaurant and the last one describing my kitchen as an advice, remember that this interactive activity will be as as you work on the material, work on support material, and then you do this activity, the interactive one, okay? And the other, the then you move to the other evidences. In this case, the forum, going to the restaurant, and describing my kitchen. Okay, that's the idea. Um, uh, I'm going. For me, it's so important to work on support material for that reason. I really want to just have a look of this. So I'm going to show you the support material. This is the support material. This solution is put in English. Well, remember, if you have any question, please write it. Yeah, by the chat. So here we have the support material. And for me, oh, it is not the support material. It's this. Here we have the support material. So in this support material, you will practice the use of question of quantifiers. Some and any. Yeah, these quantifiers. Some and any. So here we have the next explanation, the definition. Quantifiers show the quantity of a noun. The answer, the question, how many or how much. Some quantifiers are used only with countable nouns, others with uncountable nouns, and others with both. Yeah, that is the definition of a quantifier. Some, we use some to indicate a quantity it can be used with countables and uncountables now in an affirmative sentence keeping your mind some for affirmative sentences okay here we have some examples there is some water in the glass there are some cookies there are some tennis in the plate i i always drink some coffee in the morning so as you can see here we have some countable nouns and also an uncountable nouns yeah but you can use some with both. Some can also be used uh, in questions when we offer or request something. That is so important. So most of the time you use some 
in affirmative sentences, but sometimes in questions, just when these questions offer or request something. Okay, here we have some examples. Can I have some water? Would you like some dessert? Can I get some napkins? Yeah. Any. We use any in interrogative or negative sentences. It cannot be used in affirmative sentences, okay? Just in questions and also negative sentences. Any. For that reason, when I ask you, do you have any question? Because it is a question, yeah? Here we have another example. Is there any fruit? Are there any oranges? There isn't any food in the table. There aren't, any, there aren't any people in the restaurant. So we have here some countables and uncountables. So you can use some and any for both countables and uncountables. But some is for affirmative and interrogative. Some some questions, some kind of questions, and any for negative and interrogative sentences. Yeah, here we have another example just to complete, to, to um, practice your knowledge. So here, I am a vegetarian. I don't eat, I don't, it is negative, I don't eat any. So you have to use any. Any. Oh. Here. Any meat. Would you like some ice cream? No thanks. I can't eat any sweet. Yeah. And the idea is that you uh, continue filling these gaps. Okay. Then we have another conversation. This conversation can be useful to do the evidence called going to the restaurant, remember that you have to create a dialogue so you can make this exercise and also use for create for creating your own dialogue, okay? And that is the this is the support material for this week. For me it is for me it's essential just to practice to uh, clarify some things about how to use some quantifiers like some and any. And uh, now we are going to work on the presentation that I, that I did for you, okay? The presentation for today, some grammatical grammar explanation. Rules, you are writing, so I, I am going to wait a little bit for your question. So it is understood. Teach could you supply us with the suggest answer sheet? Okay, no, this platform does not have the uh, suggested answer sheet for these materials, for the support material. But when you, if you want, you can practice. You can uh, complete every single exercise, and you can send me to by the platform or just by email. And I checked if your answers are good or not. If you want, okay, Luz? Okay, hmm. sorry, I'm not understanding. Okay, in this platform, in this level, um, loose, we don't have the suggested answers, like, for example, in level one, yeah? But you can do the support material, we can, you can do the support material, and send to me the file with your answers, I'm going to check so I'm going to check your answers, evaluate your answers, and then give you like a, 
I an answer telling you what is right and what is wrong. Better lose. Bueno, igual si te quería como, te quiero como explicar bien bien para que sepas, eh, en, en este nivel 2, no, me imagino que tú ya tuviste el nivel 1 y por eso dices que si no hay una suggest, suggested answer sheet, eh, no, en este nivel 2 la plataforma como tal no trae esas respuestas. Entonces, eh, lo que yo te decía es, trabaja en el support material, recuerda que el support material es solo por práctica, ¿sí? No se tiene que enviar, no hay que, no tiene evaluación, ¿sí? No se tiene que enviar obligatoriamente. Entonces, tú puedes trabajar en eso y si quieres me lo envía, ya sea por la plataforma o ya sea por correo, me lo envías y cuando dices la plataforma es que lo puedes, puedes crear eh, en el foro de preguntas de questions and concerns, en ese foro tú lo que haces es que me envías el documento y me dices, profe, me quedó bien o me quedaron mal los ejercicios que hice y yo te lo reviso y te digo, sí, tú hice, o sea, en, te digo en dónde está el error y qué está bien, sí, te los evalúo. Pues eso, como yo le decía, no de práctica, pero si tú quieres saber si estás haciendo las cosas bien, pues obvio me lo puedes enviar por el correo y yo te, te explico. ¿Listo? Bueno. Entonces, ya que hemos entendido toda la parte de la plataforma, la explicación, cómo se hacen las evidencias, vamos a ir con la parte gramatical. Otra parte gramatical, porque ya vimos el uso del FAM y el N. Ahora vamos con otra parte gramatical que son los countable and uncountable nouns, ok? So here we have countable and uncountable nouns and some examples. Countable is good, rabbit, t-shirt, house, apple, sa saxophone. Uncountable water, coffee, cheese, cheese, music, sugar, rice. So as you can see, countable is something that you can count like one, two, three, four. Yes. And uncountable is something that you need another measurement unit to be counted, okay? In Spanish. That means that, for example, water. You can't count water. But if you want to count water, you need another e measurement unit. What could be, for example, a glass, a glass of water. A bag of water, a box of water, one liter, one liter, one liter of water. So that's the way you, we can count water. Y nosotros no podemos contar el agua, pero necesitamos unidades de medida para poder contarla, como un vaso de agua, ¿sí? Un vaso de agua, un, una caja de agua, una bolsa de agua. Y yo también puedo decir un litro, dos litros. Entonces, cuando utilizo una unidad de medida, ahí estoy hablando de algo incontable. ¿Ok? Or another tip. Here we have, we can count cat, woman, pencil, child. So, when we are talking about countable nouns, you uh, have a plural form. So, the countable nouns have for a plural form, like, for example, Cat, cat. Pencil, pencils. Woman, woman. Child, children. So, countable nouns have plural. Yeah? Can have a or an. 
a number before them. For example, I have a cat. My cousin has three children or a child. Yeah, so when you can use a, a or an, this is an uncountable noun. What is an uncountable? We cannot count like milk, safety, rights, happiness, have no plural form, usually cannot have a or an, or a number before them. For example, they like rice. I wish you ha much happiness. Yeah, that's the difference between countables and uncountables now. So we're going to practice now. Here we have some some examples of countables and uncountables uh, uh, input. So here we have some vocabulary that you can use in your evidence if you want to print your screen you can do it. Okay. And then we're going to practice. You uh, uh, please write or type you or she according to the noun. For example, chocolate. Chocolate is uncountable. So you in the chat you just put you. Yeah? By the chat. Please Luz and Maida. Please write in the chat. Apple C cheer. It is uncountable. Car. What about car? Car is countable or uncountable? See, countable. Perfect. Now, sugar. What about sugar? Countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Very good. Television. What about Maida? Please participate. Yeah, television is countable. Oil. Oil is you. That's right. Uncountable. Butter. What about butter? Uncountable. That's right. Umbrella. Maida, what's happening to you? Yes. Participate. Umbrella is countable. Now, money. What about money? Money is countable or uncountable? Money, no. Money is not countable. We use a measurement unit to count money. For example, money. Dinero tiene plural. La pregunta que ustedes se deben hacer, ¿tiene plural? Dinero. O sea, es posible decirle, mamá, ¿me das di dos dineros? No, dinero como tal no tiene plural. Entonces, lo que, y no se puede decir, ¿cómo te pago con un dinero dos dineros? No. Necesito unidades de medida. ¿Cuáles son las unidades de medida? Los pesos, euros, libras, ¿sí? Esas son las unidades de medida, dólares. Entonces, por eso, dinero como tal no es contable. Lo que es contable son los pesos. Ahí sí, yo puedo decir 10 mil pesos, 2 dólares, 3 dólares. Cuando utilice la unidad de medio, eso sí lo puedo contar. Por eso, money se hace incontable. Water. What about water, Mayra? Is contable or uncountable? What about water? Uncountable. Friend. What about friend? It is countable, that's right. Book. It is C or U. C, that's right. Countable. Shoe. Countable and countable. Countable. Very good. I want chicken. Chicken. What about chicken? It is countable or uncountable? Chicken is countable. That's right. Time. What about time? Time. 
uncomfortable, that's why I lose. Cup, what about cup and jam? Cup is comfortable and jam is jam is uncomfortable. And ham jam is uncomfortable. Okay? So thanks a lot for this participation. Here we have another example. Please, you can do this example in your houses. Pueden hacer este ejercicio en sus casas. Es exactamente lo mismo. C para contables y U para incontables. Para que ustedes practiquen en sus casas. Ok. And that's uh, everything for today. Eso es todo por hoy. Es y no hay aprendices. Thanks for your participation. Thanks for asking me. I don't know if you have any questions. No questions, dear students? I don't have any questions. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> I don't have any questions. Okay, Maida and Luz, have an excellent day. Have an excellent week. Remember that you can contact me by forums, by mail, okay? And today we are going to have the WhatsApp group, okay? So, bye-bye.